What's up y'all? Welcome to the Chess Giant. This is your boy Solomon Riddell. And today's video is really for you hippopotamus defense players and how to avoid a common mistake which simply loses the game on the spot. Okay, you play this mistake, you're going to have a lost game and uh, it's very hard, if not impossible, to climb back from. Now guys, look, most of the time guys in my opening videos, I start from the very beginning, you know, very start of the game, go through every single move. But look, if you're a hippo player, you know what we're trying to do is fiend shadow both of our bishops put our central pawns on the sixth rank and then tuck our knights closely behind. But I think, you know, one thing that a lot of hippo players forget about is playing these moves of a6 and or h6. Guys, in well over half of my over the board tournament games, probably about 60%, I am playing both of these moves, a6 and h6. And probably about the other 40% of the time, I'm at least playing one of them. I don't think there's been a single game uh, in which case I haven't played at least one of these moves. And there's a number of reasons for that. I mean, both of these moves of a6 and h6 offer us a ton of benefits but one of them is that it frees up our flank pawns what am i talking about well guys by flank pawns i mean my pawns on f7 and c7 now okay some of you are again asking the question how on earth does playing a6 and h6 matter for my pawns on f7 and c7 well guys this position here was a game that i saw you know a couple of my friends playing not too long ago and here black plays this idea of f5 Okay, and this is actually one of the four key counterattacking ideas, attacking ideas in the hippo, using a flank pawn and putting pressure in the center. But notice here, guys, black did not play h6 first. Okay, now look, if black played h6 first and then this move of f5, we're playing hippo chess. We're off to the races. But here, guys, we play f5 too soon, and all of a sudden, knight g5 was played and black simply has themselves a completely lost game. So sure, by playing these moves of a6 and h6, you're potentially supporting b5 and g5 you know, pushes, depending on the position. But on top of that, you're really preventing these knights from becoming active minor pieces. And in this case, simply attacking the pawn on e6. And notice here, there's really no good way for black to defend it. In fact, the only way for black to defend this pawn on e6 is by playing rook f6, which is what was seen in the game. But now white simply continues by playing e5. And guys, this rook needs to move. Unless, of course, we just want to lose a rook. We got to move it to a square like f8, in which case white's going to just capture on e6, forking our queen and our rook while already being up a pawn. And if a move like rook f7, which is what was played in the game, white is simply able to capture on e6, we see a move like queen c8, and um, you know this game in particular just continued with capturing on g7, bishop h6, and uh, okay, I mean at this point, you know our rook's being attacked. If we play rook f7, e6 is played. This game is resignable, and it all goes back to you know really going against this move of knight g3, right? It all goes back to this position. Okay, now. You know, you could argue in a position like this that a move like c5 isn't bad. Even then, I still like playing a6 because it supports really a b5 push. It even stops the bishop from coming into a square like b5 in the future. But guys, in a position like this, f5 simply is not playable until we play h6, right? Because h6 prevents that knight g5 idea. So guys, really, this video is just a warning, reminder, whatever you want to call it for you hippo players. Guys, be very careful when moving a pawn to c5, or even a pawn to f5. Make sure that you already have this h6 move ready to go if you see that knight on f3, because in this case, white is simply able to play knight g5, and all of a sudden, we simply have ourselves a lost game. And, you know, it's move 11, guys. It takes 10 moves to get the hippo. Let's not get a lost game. One move later.